Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream. Tonight we're going to be playing Dungeon Lords, D.W. Bradley's 2005 release. Thanks to some of you guys who were kind enough to gift it to me. And man, let me tell you, this thing was hard to get working on a modern machine. It's hard to get working in a virtual machine. In fact, I couldn't get it to work in a virtual machine. So I am actually playing it on a Windows 8.1 machine. And uh, so far all I did was get the main screen running and I have OBS actually been able to view it. So I'm looking forward to this. This is very exciting for me. It's not too often I find a game that's exciting. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Now I have read this game is very buggy and I'm not surprised. I installed from the original CDs to collector's edition. So uh, Christopher Robbins, the one that put all this together. And, uh, you know, like I said, there were others that participated and I've mentioned them before in my discord in another video. So this was one of the games that got me. So thanks again, guys. So without further ado, let's launch this. All right, Michael and Gala, welcome to the stream. How you guys doing? Let me know if you're seeing this and hearing it. You should be seeing and hearing the main screen. Epic music. I'm playing this blind. I really know nothing about the game. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. So interestingly enough, this is this can be a multiplayer game, which is kind of crazy. But obviously, I'm just going to be playing single player here, starting a new game. And let's see, what can we do here? I know it's single character. You have a single character, and I think you can pick your race and your class. That's about all I know. So, let's see here. If I need to use the keyboard. I'm not sure why I need to click on here. Oh, make a new character. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ergoth. Dwarf. Will Van. Elf, male, elf female, Zaur male, hmm, Thrall male. Okay, so it looks like you can play females sometimes, but otherwise always males. Probably because they didn't have graphics. <laughs> Any models created. Man, that's a big guy. A lot of strength. Okay. Dwarf. Pretty tough and strong. This guy's got more agility. Dexterity. He's he's looks pretty balanced, except vitality and honors a little lower. Oh, and the females actually have lower vitality but higher intellect. Strong really dumb pretty agile pretty tough so he'd be a really good fighter I guess and these are probably more like a thief or a caster okay what am I going to go with here I think I'm going to go with a elf male. Life is 40. It's a little bit lower, but that's okay. It's not terrible. I think their parry was and speed was a little bit higher, too. Okay, cool. Glass. 
Mage Adept Rogue Fighter. Okay, it looks like these skills are changing. No, I can't. Alt, I can't even alt tab out of this game. If I try to alt tab, you can't get back to it. It, it blows up. So we're stuck with whatever we can see here. Is it? Does it take up the full screen, or is it in the top left, like a little bitty box? It's running 1600 by. 1200 it should be hopefully an OBS taking up at least the height of the screen okay yeah that's as high resolution as we're gonna get <laughs> I'm lucky to even run this thing Left-handed or right-handed? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know what difference that makes. Okay, thanks, Michael. Skin color. Huh. Hairstyle. Let's do long hair. Your color. Okay, let's go with the one. Alright, now what do we do? Continue. Select the set the race class and appearance for the character you want to play, then click continue. Ooh. Cool. Light weapons, combat skill with light weight weaponry. Such as daggers, small swords, and short stats. Gains advanced combo strikes at level 5. Advanced costs 47. So I have 10,000 points. So I guess he can't use medium weapons. Oh, required light weapons 3. Okay. So then there's light pull weapons. That takes more cost. Throwing weapons, it's about 2,000. Combat skill with ranged. So we definitely want that. Ability to dodge and defend against melee weapons. Light armor, ability to wear light armor in combat without a penalty. Okay, and then general. Athletics. Ability to swim underwater and avoid damage from falls. Gain evasive leaps at level 1. Forward roll at level 2. Side rolls 3 and backflip at 4. That's almost 3,000 points. Scout. Denotes mapping skill and ability to detect concealed buttons. That's got to be important. <laughs> Bargain. Bargain with shopkeepers. Repair. Notes the ability to repair damaged weapons. Armor and shields. And the time interval between each repair attempt. Okay. Magic. Determines the power, area of effect, and duration, which is fireball and magic missile. Celestial magic determines the power, area effect of celestial magic, like healing, lightning bolt. Nether is like fear and summon. Rune is like boon strike and sanctuary. Thief, your ability to determine lock and trap devices. Okay. We're definitely doing that. Pick locks on doors and other objects. Definitely doing that. Chess, doing that. We're gonna do this, this. Scout, light armor. All right, continue. The lady and the lion, strike plus two. It says select one herald heraldry to bequeath 
a special ability. Arcane magic, celestial magic, athletics and speed, luck. Hmm. Let's do this. Enter a name for this character. Click on play this character to save your new character and begin the game. Here we go. Hey, Saz, Tam, Nigel, Mart uh, Martin, welcome to the stream. How you guys doing? Just one, Saz, Tam. This is a single player character or single party character. And you can, it's actually multiplayer. So you can play with other people. Which I'm not sure how that works. I'm doing good, Martin. How are you all you guys doing? Let's hope that it starts. <laughs> armies defeated. Lord Davenmore was desperate to save his kingdom from the onslaught of Lord Beregrin's marauders. It began as a war over who would rule the circle of mages. There's a video playing. You probably can't see it. Golden of the Meadows, or the Archwizard Bolgar, sage of Beregrin's kingdom. Bolgar was after the relics of power. Ancient artifacts safeguarded by Golden. For according to legend, whoever unlocked their secret would acquire the magic to rule heaven and hell. In a nefarious coup, Bolgar convinced a few within the circle of mages to betray Golden, and the unsuspecting wizard was lured into a trap, spelling his doom. With Golden vanquished, Lord Davamore's troops were soon overrun, and he had no choice but to concede victory to Lord Beregrim and Golgar. But Beregrim's taste for blood was not easily quenched, and he demanded a special prize that would proclaim his dominion to all. The hand of Davenmore's daughter, Elowen, in marriage. For this alone would Beregrim call off his legions of terror. But unbeknownst to either lord, Elowen had already sworn her love to Valdane, captain of Davenmore's royal guard, and son to Lord Greymare of the Northlands. Upon hearing his daughter's refusal to marry Beregrim, and the confession of her true love for Valdane, Lord Davenmore flew into a rage. He ordered his guards to arrest Valdane and carry him off to a dungeon far away. Elowen's wrath fell full upon her father, and she swore that if Valdane could not have her, no one would. She fled from the room in tears, and the next morning she was gone. Now Davenmore lies deep in a trap of his own making. For upon learning of Elowen's disappearance, Beregrim has accused Lord Davenmore of treachery in a ruse to conceal his daughter, and has once again ordered his army of death to the kingdom's door. Hordes of night warriors, shadow fiends, and other monstrous terrors now march across the lands, bringing death and destruction to all they encounter. Only by finding his daughter and convincing her to honor his pledge can Davenmore hope to save his kingdom from the nightmare of Beregrim's army of abominations. For should Volgar and his dark conspirators acquire the relics of power, they will truly become unstoppable. But all is not yet lost. It has been foretold that a young hero will arise to challenge the forthcoming evil. The relics of power lie concealed in ancient dungeons and castle ruins of kingdoms past within the Forbidden Lands, waiting for the champion who can win them from their guardians. Deep within the wilderness, there are those among the elves, dwarves, and demigods who might be persuaded to stand and fight. Within the circle of mages, there remain a few who despise Volgar. Those who might come to the aid of one brave and strong enough to challenge him. And somewhere out there is the lost daughter of a crumbling lord, now stalked by unseen treasury. If only she can be found. If only she can survive long enough. Thus begins Dungeon Lords, a kingdom cracked. A tale of love, hate, betrayal, revenge, honor, and evil. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, you're just talking with your friend Martin about trying this game? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I have never played this. I'm playing it blind. I have not read the manual. I do not want any hints if any of you guys have played this and know about it. Um, the reason why I play games blind is because later I will review them. And I want to have a first impression 
and basically by playing it blind I can test the intuitiveness and uh, can kind of rate that too so yeah right here right off the bat it's given us controls which is great that it's in game I don't even have to look in the manual for this so basic movement and looking around plus press this question mark to exit left mouse page up right mouse page down turning and looking move the mouse mouse look and turn page up key to look up page down to look down movement okay so it's WSAD WSAD okay WS all right forward back step strife left okay all right cool so no Nigel I have not read the rule book and I do not want to read it oh good you guys were able to see the video cool oh so you beat this one Nigel cool all right so this is the sides. And let's see if, so this is step backwards, step forward. Oh, I can do the same thing with the arrow keys. Okay, cool. This rotates the camera. Page up, page down. That's page up. Page down. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see if I can do an unlock. So I have to literally use the page up, page down for that. All right. And then let's see. If, so with the mouse, if I'm moving the mouse around, I can... Space is a jump. L is log. Camera Y lock on. Oh, you can lock the camera. C. Mouse configuration. That's V. M. M is for the mini map. E, oh, that's equip. Short sword, damage two to five, range five foot nine inches for the range. Okay. Suede pants, light armor. So it looks like you have at least upper body, lower body, and foot. Oh, and here's head. What is this? A belt? Looks like that affects things. Oh, here we go. And gloves, too. Okay. Alternate weapon. Rings. Strike of 12. I picked a female or a male elf. Fast him. Yeah, third person. Let's see, clip keys, letters, junk, all. Sweet. Oh, so you have like a spare armor there. We have some potions too. Healing, three charges, cure poison, one charge. Cool. What else we got? Escape allows us to save the game. Okay. This is how I can turn, I can use the mouse.
Okay, so basically if I turn the mouse while I'm running, control on it. It's our first combat, it looks like. <laughs> Let's try going over here. I kind of want a uh, overhead perspective. Alright, I guess we killed him. Yeah, I kind of want a perspective like this. Let's see if I can lock that. There we go. How do we pick up? Enter, maybe? Gold. It says gold code. <laughs> Healing potion. All right, how do I pick up? Space bar? No, that does a jump. Oh, you hit the shift key. Okay. Rat tail. Shield acquired, rat tail acquired. Unidentified weapon. ID chance 50%. <laughs> Some kind of shield, it looks like. Zero percent chance to identify. I doubt that's as good as the shield I have. I did get a healing potion. Question is, am I injured? Let's see, how do I see that? Is it C? Health. Life. Okay, 40 out of 40, so I'm not injured. Let's try this camera. I guess there's nothing up here. Just wandering around. Uh -oh. Wow, I'm still not even injured. Weapon acquired. There's something else dropped. Pick it up already. Picked it up. Wow, look at this weapon. What is this? Looks like it's got blood on it or something. Hmm. This looks like a good sword. Short sword. What do I have? 
Yeah. Oh, that was the weapon I probably started with. Yeah. Two to five damage. Hmm. I wonder how I can identify it. <laughs> Colin says, Mission one, you must cut down the large shrubbery in the forest. Yeah. This looks like a good sword, but I don't know. Let me save it. Whoa. Feral red dies, okay. All right, how quickly do we regenerate? So I have 36 hit points. I think that's what the red thing is up top there. We'll see if it goes up on its own. If not, then I'll have to use healing potion. 37, yeah, it's going up. Hey there, the Zig. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? He says, D, you must bring us some, bring us a shrubbery. <laughs> yeah. It's nighttime, doggone it. We can't see anything. Here's some pretty flowers. There, I'll pick you a flower. <laughs> There's some big trees. Uh-oh. I don't like this position. Uh, whip. Ocean. Hundred seventy five experience. So I wonder how you level up. I'm looking at the mini map down there. Can't see anything at night. This is truly a DW Brawler game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Wizards and Warriors is the same. Yes, you can block like this. You push the right mouse button, you can parry. You're doing good, Zig? I'm glad to hear that. Couldn't resist getting in on the Python joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Man, we're getting experience. I I probably shouldn't have ran out here in the Let's rotate the camera up again. Let's do this position now. Hey, John, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh-oh. I hear, like, wings. All right, I got to go up a little more. Uh-oh. Man, these guys are tough. What are these, anyway? Goblin dies. Okay, one down. Another down. Give me that potion. Man, that was rough.
Hey, Ilker and Chris, Crystal Water, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Weapon. Another weapon that I can't identify. How many potions do I have now? Four. Okay, cool. You haven't played this one, huh, Elker? Yeah, this is Dungeon Lords. Um, I'm playing it blind so that I can see how intuitive. So far, it's been very intuitive. Really impressed. No, John, I have never played this. I'm, I didn't even read the manual. Because eventually I hope to review it. Yeah, thanks, Crystal Water. You too. Yeah, you're still trying to deal with the post-COVID stuff, Elker. I'm sorry. You got insomnia, huh? I don't know if there's any towns in this game. I'm hoping there are. But so far, I've just been wandering around aimlessly. Uh-oh. Cheap shot. It was a bat cheap shot. This game is from 2005. And let me tell you, it was not easy to get running, especially to the point where I could stream it. I wonder if there's a way to see level up. Next, level six. Oh, I've already, where I can increase something. Let's do that. I'm attacking so much. Wow. Ah. <laughs> I'm running from whatever that was. Ninja bath. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What? Oh boy. This doesn't look good. Giant scorpions. Wow, I hope I didn't get poison there. Scorpion tail acquired. I better use a potion. Okay. Uh, Elker says, good thing I'll be working from home for a while. Can't even imagine... Getting up at 7 a.m. to go to work at the moment. Yeah, that'd be rough. You see this all the time on sale on Steam Milker? Okay, let's see here. Perry. All right. Let's save it again. Like I'm looping around again. Can I even climb? No, can't climb that. Oh, 
Oh wow, we have tons of experience here. Let's let, let's get some magic. Okay, now how do I use it? Ah, so you use these for spells? They cast. I think I got arcane there. Hmm. Nice. So really, you're you basically you're getting these points, kind of like Zelda 2, how that worked, where you get these points to advance skills. It's kind of like experience instead of a whole level. And certain things can level up easier, I guess, based on your, maybe your race and class. Somehow, I have to figure out how to cast a spell, though. Yeah. Could have improved shield. Let's see. Level two. I wonder if fighters can even learn spells. Yeah, I bet they can't learn spells. Twenty kills. Pro magic. Okay, so there's magic, fire, petrify, poison, ice, and gas. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, so higher intellect allows you to learn skills and magic more easily. Cool. Yeah, I probably can't cast spells. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. I keep seeing a blue line up here too when I'm fighting. I wonder if that's my stamina. Like it when it's maxed out, I oh, it just crashed. Okay, that's not good. Illegal instruction referenced memory, blah blah blah, could not be read. Okay. We have our first crash. Leop, let's go back in. Yes, you can jump, Gauntlet. Ryan, welcome to the stream. How you doing? No, this is not the Steam version. This is the original version. Well, technically, I think it's the collector's edition, whatever that means, but it's from 2005. Off CDs. So, I don't know if the Steam version be any better or not. Yeah, this is a gift from Christopher and Christopher Robin. Ah, 
I am enjoying the game. Um, except for the crash that just happened. I might have to start saving very frequently. Okay. Well, the good news is I'm not going to spend it on magic now. Now that I know I'm a, a fighter and it doesn't look like I can get spells. Hmm. I need to find a bow at some point. Wow, I can even increase this again. Or I can start bumping some attributes. I think I'm going to boost dexterity here. So let's check this out. 1532, and if I boost intelligence... 1524. <laughs> so it didn't make much of a difference there. I'm just boosting my attributes. Uh, oh, so it lost the camera angle too. Try to lock that in again. Yes, I'm an elf. Yeah, this is the D.W. Bradley game. So here's how you jump. Space power. The Steam version is worse? Oh, wow. And we already got a crash, not even an hour in. That's not good. I'm paranoid now. <laughs> in the Steam version, you get three points per level up to update what you want. In this version, you can update whatever you want as much as you want, as long as you have the points. Oh, okay. So why did they change it? They didn't like D.W. Bradley's vision? I mean, as a designer, you should almost always take D.W. Bradley's advice. It'd be hard-pressed not to. Uh-oh. Whoa, what is this? Oh, my goodness. Skeleton. Dexterity was a good choice. Ooh, we got a weapon. Dead dead man's hair. Another one. Whoa! Hit Viper. Ah! Oh, there's another one. I sure hope I'm not getting poisoned. Wow. Snake skin acquired. So I think you use those as like reagents or something in the spells. All right, let's see if I got poisoned. I don't know if there's even a way to tell. Hey there, John. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? It says the Steam version plays more like an MMO. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, this... You can play multiplayer, supposedly. Ron says, yeah, there's more of a wow feel to the Steam version. Oh, it says, I like how the darkness makes it realistic. Yeah. So far, I'm liking it. A lot like Wizards and Warriors, you know, that, that feeling of uh, exploration. I'm boosting dexterity again. That seemed to be a good choice. All right, let's do uh, save. Make sure I didn't get poisoned. Let me look at my health. 34 out of 40. I'm almost back to where I started. I see the on the mini map there. Save again. Yeah, supposedly this is multiplayer too, Ron. It has a multiplayer uh, menu option. Yeah, I like it too. So here's there's some plaque thing over here. This is what I started by. Oh, that's that pyramid thing I got. Oh, there's a coffin. How do you open? Oh, wow. Weapon acquired. Man, I have all kinds of weapons. Can I identify this? Identify 50%. And I failed. Hmm. We have another shield, too. Medium shield. That looks better than my shield. Shield plus two. This one we don't know. Speed minus 24. Strike minus... Or strike went down. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't want to wield that. Parry went down. So that's where I would need a better skill. My helmet's damaged. That's where my boots. Okay. No, that's not the right way. Uh oh, I see some red. I mean, enemy? It does. Uh oh. Whoa. I get him. Snake skin. Okay. So when I was going into equip, I saw, yeah, see, it's like these apply to nether spells. Catal, Catal, quantity, I've got a bunch of these. Okay. There's a Gog version. Uh, I, it's too early for me to tell you, Martin, because uh, it crashed on me once already. So I just don't know yet if it's going to be stable enough. Oh, it looks like I got poisoned. I see a little thing up there. I only have one cure poison. Okay. Okay.
So far, I'm really liking it, Martin. But, uh, I just don't know how stable it is yet. Nigel says he likes this version of the game better. Nelker says I haven't seen much, but I think it, it isn't as good as Gothic. Max, hey Max, welcome, how you doing? Max says I remember this game being absolute torture. There are things about this version that are done better, Nigel says. Whenever you launch the game, you find yourself screaming at your monitor a couple minutes later. <laughs> Why is that, Max? Just because of it crashing or the difficulty? Because I'm playing the CD version, the original version, thanks to Christopher Robin being so generous. And my, my bunch of other subscribers helping too, of course, with uh, recommending and stuff. I got something coming up on me. It's that darn bad again. Ooh, our first building. You have the DVD version working on Windows 10 okay, Nigel? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm running this on Windows 8.1. I could not get it to run in a virtual machine with Windows XP. Even though it had, I had DirectX 9 installed, like it said, it, it when I looked in the debug log, it said it couldn't find it. Oh, so you had crashes and bugs and stuff, Max? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad it's fun for you to see someone else playing it. Yeah, it's only crashed once. Now, that was in the first hour, which isn't that great. <laughs> but it's so far so good. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Hmm. Is there a lever? See a lever. Bad again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not hurting anybody. Oh, there's a cross up there. Hmm. Oh, yes, I got it. And I'm not poisoned. At least it doesn't show the symbol. Let's go around the other side. Let's see if there's any kind of hidden... Seeing anything. See anything there. Ron says once D Forte finishes the game we should get the Steam version and play multiplayer. Yeah, that'd be fun. I wonder what the difference would be and how that would work. Nigel says if it goes in, on sale on Steam, then maybe buy it. And then Max's crashes weren't as bad as they were in Dagger Fall, though. That game once crashed when I attempted to save the game. <laughs> That's rough. Yes, this supports multiplayer. Um, I don't know how that works, but it does support it. In fact, Wizards and Warriors. Up, oh, it just crashed. Wizards and Warriors uh, also originally was going to support multiplayer with a party. And the company, the publishing company, 
which I think might have been Electronic Arts. I think it went through two or three publishing companies. They had D.W. Bradley strip that out. So then it became a single player. And that's so unfortunate. Because, yeah, it was geared up to being multiplayer with multiple party members. Yeah, it just crashed when it said Fargrove Guard be off with you. So uh, I had recently saved, so we'll we'll go back in and see if we avoid this again. As long as it I can keep saving the game and it doesn't keep recrashing in the exact same spot, it's going to be a little annoying, but I can deal with that. If it gets to a point where there's places I can't go, that's going to really really turn me off to the game. It loads up quick enough. Okay. Now I gotta change the camera angle again. Again. Let's lock it right about there. Okay, it did not crash again. So it almost seems like there's a memory leak or something. How do I talk to this guy? Hey, why won't you talk with me? I see you there. Don't I break your sword against me, knave? <laughs> hmm. Way to talk. Quest log. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like I, I can talk with that guy. I just noticed the compass up there at the top of the screen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my character is that overpowered. We haven't died yet, though. Is there an action key? I don't know. I have not looked at the manual because I want to play this blindly. Because I want to review it eventually, and I want to see how intuitive it is. And so far, it's been pretty intuitive, but... I just get stuck. <laughs> there we go. Um, except for talking. Like, I don't know how to talk with that guy. Hmm. I wonder if you have to have an item. Whoa. Short sword and some gold. Go back over this direction. I 
wonder if this is weighing me down. It doesn't seem to affect my strike. I guess not. East. Here we go. Yeah, that compass is going to help a lot. So yeah, this is a road. It's so dark. I wonder if it's ever going to become daytime. Oh, there's a fire. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you hit the shift button to talk. Messenger Simon, Temple of the Circene Celestial Order Letter. I carry a letter from the Celestial Order of the Temple. Temple summons acquired. Okay. It is said that the seers of the molecular lord of the reading stars and foretell the future. This road will lead to Fargo. Okay. I don't know anything else about them. I am only a messenger. Okay, cool. All right, well, that takes care of that. <laughs> I somehow missed that guy. Because it's so dark. Let's go south on the road. Maybe now this guy will let me in here. Save it again before it crashes. Okay. Hmm. Is there a way to give him a letter? Nigel says, I got the Steam version, played it a while, forgot it. Forgot you had it. Played it again, then <laughs> reinstalled the CD version. And there are things in there that are done better. More role playing, I think. Okay, cool. Hey there, John. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? So far, the game's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Um, I, we've had two crashes, which isn't great, but I've been able to save the game, and it hasn't crashed in the same place, so it seems like it's a memory leak or something. So we're going to have to go find... Scorch the Goblin, what? Oh, there must be a Goblin behind me. Oh, there it is. He's just standing there, look. Oh, cool. The goblin's leading me. He's probably leading me into an ambush. Scorch the goblin. 
We're gonna pay dearly. Scorch the goblin, you're going down. Got another weapon. Shield. Okay, so did he open the gate? It looked like a gate opened. Yeah, it is open now, okay. All right, let's take a, take a look. So we have 1,700 points. We could level something up again. So the shield I would like to do... I need to get this medium shield eventually. Okay. Let me uh, save it again. Yeah, save before it crashes. Yeah. Oh, glad you're doing well, John. Yeah, because I want to be able to equip this, but I don't have medium shield yet, so I can't do that. All right, let's go in here. This is probably a bad idea. Enter Fargrove Sewers. Hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing else around here. No. Nope. Push and shift. I thought maybe when it said that, I could actually push a button to enter. Doesn't look like that does anything. Let's see, E for enter? No, it's equip. Maybe we can't get down there because of the gate. You know, there's like a some bars on there. Oh wait, there's a lever. There it is. Okay, now at the bottom it says that. Yeah, you hit shift. Uh oh. Did it crash? Nope, it didn't crash. I guess it was loading the next level. Yeah, so we're in the sewers now. Hmm. Did I jump down there? Let me turn this off and look. Wow, that's dark down there. <laughs> I don't know if I should jump down there or not. <laughs> no, let's try it. Let's get our camera back the way we want. Wow, we survived. <laughs> Moonwalking. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I found it, Nigel. Uh-oh. Here's something. Whoa! Sewer slime. 
Uh oh, I don't like that. Guess we killed it. All right, is there another lever? Whoa! Back up, back up. Back up. Like noxious fumes or something. Back up, back up, run. Wow, that was a lot of slimes. Yeah, that was cool, monsters, wasn't it? Okay, let's go back here. Barrel. Nothing in the barrel. Anything in the crate? Oh, there we go. Some more gold. Which hopefully eventually we'll get a spin. Uh oh. Sewer sign. More gold. What is that? Fireball. Fireball acquired. Is that a scroll? Oh, I don't like this positioning. So, fireball. Spell book. Oh, wow. As a fighter, I can actually cast fireball. Okay. That's pretty sweet. How do I unequip? Zero out of one charges. Hmm. Cancel drop. Let's see if I can figure out how to let me equip this. Can't drop. Can't click on anything else. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot of weapons here. I've picked up. All right, Oker, have a good one.
Hope you feel better. Nigel says, I'm in the Temple of Ram now in Wizardry 6. Oh, cool. So you're almost to the end. Good for you, Nigel. Yeah, I don't know if I already used and, there, and it'll recharge on its own or if it's done. I can't tell. Like, it, you know, if it's a spell type thing. Because normally in games, like in, at least in Wizardry, spell books allow you to learn a spell. And then you can cast it. So I don't know if it'll go back to one charge after time. But somehow I need to be able to unequip this. There's probably some hotkey to do it that I don't know about. Mix Nether Spell. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I mix these. I guess you have to know what the combinations are. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like uh, alchemy. Wait, heal push seven. Okay. Yeah, I just don't know how to equip this. Well, let me drop it. And if I click, nothing happens. Escape? No. This part's not intuitive. This is the first thing I found that's pretty that's not very intuitive. Let me. Shift doesn't work. Spacebar doesn't work. Let me drop it. I don't know. Yeah, my it says my identify chance was 50%. Every time I tried, I think I tried two or three times, it failed. And then it seems like there's a cooldown on it. Nigel says humans get the spell too. Not sure if all races get them. Yeah, I don't know. X has no idea how this works, but Fireball doesn't have any charges left. Maybe you need to recharge it somehow to find another one. Is resting a thing in that game, Asked Dharma? I don't think so. I don't think you can rest. At least I haven't found a way to do it yet. I don't know if I can even open the chest. I'm trying to get this thing off my inventory because I can't attack while I have this equipped. It won't allow me to swing my sword. Uh, how do I do this? Yeah, it still shows fireball. The heck. Cancel doesn't work. Hey, Retro Zord, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Had this on release with no patches. Yeah, that's how I'm playing the uh, the version. The cla the uh, what's it called? Collector's edition. So far, it's been working fine. It crashed twice, I think, but I've been saving it, and it's been fine. But 
This is the first issue where I've hit this spell book and I don't know how to how to unequip it. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure this out. Maybe it replaced offhand? I don't know. Yeah, I tried unequipping the sword. It didn't do anything. Gloves, shoulder, alternate weapon. Just don't know how to get this off of here. Let's see. Trying different keys. So I was able to cast it again. So it does have a cooldown. It recharges on its own, evidently, over time, which is cool. But I still need to figure out how to unequip this darn thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Unequip! I can't drop it. See, and the problem is, I don't know if this is a bug or if I'm just not doing the right hotkey. You may have to look in the manual. Okay, let's see here. So here's the manual. Let's see if it says anything about the spells. All right, let's see here. Spell books. Equip spell view quick menu. Press the F key to ready your last equipped spell. Ah. Oh. F. Nice. Okay, we're back in business. So F key equips or unequips your last spell. So I should be able, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we're going to cast it, we can, all we have to do is push F real quick and we can get it. Ooh, look at that. We got a mushroom. Ophelia. What did it say? Ophelia mushroom. I'm glad that wasn't a bug. Ooh, poison needle trap. Odd 70%. Uh, let's disarm it. <laughs> so, so we failed. Okay. That was interesting, though. What's it say? When device active, flick device button. Let me see if I can level this up first. Disarm trap. I don't have enough skill points to change it yet. Retrozord says these criticisms stem from the numerous bugs contained in the 1.0 release. Most Notably, buttons on the screen and in the tutorials, which do not work. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is version 1.1. 1 .1, and uh, it's been working pretty well so far. Just a couple crashes. All right. Let's see here. Really won't be able to get to medium armor at some point. But it makes me think leveling up Dexter would be better. Or I could wait and level that up.
you dodge. All right, here we go again. When device is active, click the device button below. Hmm, I wonder how you can tell when it's active. So I'm guessing the red isn't good. I should probably wait for it to become green or something. Yeah, that didn't work too well either. When device active, click the device button. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's saying when the that that type of device is showing up. I see it now. So when it looks like this thing, I have to click the button. Okay. Which is right there. It looks like this randomly changes where it's at. So once this bar goes right over this, I need to click this. I got it now. There we go. Nice. I like that. That's a pretty cool setup. All right, heal potion. Potion of power. Another healing potion. Okay. Cool. Sit here for a minute and heal and look at the chat. Oh, there wasn't even a mini-map in version 1. <laughs> Buttons are overrated. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Max. He <laughs> said nowadays the buttons would probably be locked behind downloadable content. Hey, Michael, welcome back. Ah, it's going good. I'm really liking it. We've only had, I think, two crashes, maybe three. I'm not sure. And uh, it, I'm liking the gameplay a lot. Okay, let's see here. So, back in the water, maybe. Let me check out this stuff first. Yeah, and I looked. There are so many wave files, sound files, and everything associated with this game. This has to be a big game. Like all kinds of different things. It was it was incredible when it was being installed. Ooh, lock. Item required. Okay. Well, I do not have the key, obviously. Keys. Yeah, I have none. No J keys. Yet. Let me search. Is there a way to search? Remember, I'm playing this blind. Yeah, it's like stinking cloud. Ah. Okay. Switch fireball. Come on. Fireball. I jumped over him. All right, you guys are going to get roasted. Okay, 
think I got him. Wow. All right, let's see here. Did I? Yeah, that's where I needed a key. Well, this is open. I haven't been in here yet. Hey, Weston, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yeah, you miss Zelda. That's okay. I'll stream it again at some point. Nigel says, I heard that D.W. Bradley came back to this and revamped it. Could be wrong. Ron says, if you bring up your character menu, the timer on that cloud spell will be timeout. But you'll be okay. Hmm. You mean like here? It shows... Is there anything? Oh, treasure chest. Anything in there? Nope. Oh. Gaze of Death. Level 2. Odds 35%. Uh, no. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something I want to be disarming. Do I have skill points? 749. No, I'm not even close to leveling that up. Firebomb, no, no, no. My skill's just not good enough. I never had been down this way. Oh, a lever. Hmm. Been in there. Well, I have no idea what that lever did. So the little yellow things on the mini-map are treasure chests that we've opened previously, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, I, I pulled the lever, but I, don't, I have no idea what it did. Maybe it opened something down passageway. Let's save it again. I have to remember to come back to those chests and when I have a key. Hmm. I've already been in this one. This was a dead end. Oh, this is where I started. I think, yeah, that's where I started. Ah, okay, this... I can go to the right now. Which I, I think I could have went this way to begin with, actually. Yeah, my wife just got home, so my dog's going crazy. A magic drain. Okay, so I'm looking for this. Oh, it's the first one in the list. Okay. Boom. Bloodlust potion. And gold. Okay, cool. Let's save it again. So yeah, I'll probably pull you another... Uh, about 10 minutes or so. I'll definitely come back to this. I am uh, very interested in continuing this. Hmm. Got a bat wing. Uh oh. Let's 
save it. Hold. Magic missile. Ooh, nice. So we go into equip. So I wonder which. Okay, that's a level two spell. How many of these do I get? One charge. Okay, value of thousand. Hmm, strange. Okay, well I'll leave it equipped on that. In case I need to cast the spell again. Left a lockpick at the chest? Really? Hmm. You mean like way back? I didn't see anything like that. Are you sure about that? Poison needle. Okay. Ooh, it's cool looking sword. And a lot of gold. Wait a minute. Am I losing gold somehow? Or did it just show me my total? I guess when you pick something up, it shows you your total gold. This looks like a good sword, and it's a light weapon. So I'm going to equip that. Can I identify it? 50% chance. Is it going to work? It still failed. I have yet to be able to successfully identify, even though I have 50% chance. So I'm either very, very unlucky, or that's a bug. It shows you the total, plus your value. Ah, okay. Cool. Oh, here we go. Is this the lockpicks? Yeah. You were right, Max. Okay, it shows plus 55 gold and then your total. That's cool. I like that. Healing potions. So, maybe now I can finally get through those locks. Let's go back to where I come from. In there. Save it again. Here we go. Item required. Okay. How do I do this? Keys. Quantity three. I think I have pick locks level one. Yeah, pick locks. No. Mm 
I click on it and it goes right to here like I have it equipped. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> Nigel says no clues and Ron removed his messages. So he must be trying to give me some kind of clues. Let's see, right click, drop, cancel, junk all. I mean, this isn't technically a door, so, you know, it may be where you can't pick this. You'd think you could, since it says lock. It was right to here. Shift does not do it. It says item required. Hmm. Level one. Which is what I have. I have level one lock picking. Unless this lock requires higher than level one. Let me go check out one of the other locks real quick. I know there's another one. Item required. Shift doesn't work. Space doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe use it on the door. Lock. No, it says item required. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't intuitive either. Okay, let me see if the manual tells me first before I ask for a hint from you guys. See. Pick up an item, press shift key. Switch readied weapon, press Q. Toggle between equipped and ranged. Keys. To view the keys, lockpicks, and other related items in your inventory, open the inventory. Move the cursor over its image. A pop-up window displays the statistics of the item, including the number. Keys allow your characters to open doors and activate special objects. When the door or object is activated, the key will be used automatically. Lockpicks increase a character's chance to disarm traps. Ah, so they, they're not for opening a door. Okay. Yeah, that's not intuitive. I would not expect that. I would think you could use lockpicks to try to open a door. But you can't. Let's see if it says that. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that. So yeah, those cannot be used to open doors. Those are for chests or traps, evidently. <laughs> I I don't like to read the manual, Nigel, because I I review games, and when I I want to see how intuitive the game is without a manual first, because I like to build a radium. 
based on that kind of stuff. So I play them completely blind. And it's in the manual, which is great, you know. It, it's hard to have everything in game where you don't have to look at the manual, but I try to do as much as I can, you know. Uh, so I think the chests that I couldn't open may have been around here somewhere. I know there are some really tricky ones. Was that in this room? No, this is the starting room. Weston says lock picks are for picking locks. Everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah. Nigel says I just find it funny that in the DOS day you had great manuals by Cedar Point. Yeah, no, I I think the manual's great. Just trying to since I review, that's why I'm trying to do that. If I wouldn't review the game, then I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. Oh, I have not been here yet. Somehow I missed the chest then. Maybe it was in that room to the right. No, that's locked. I'm confused. I thought it was in a larger room. Let me backtrack a little bit here. It's locked. Maybe it's this room. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Still only 35% chance. Inventory. Here we go. There, that boosted it to 60. Okay. See, that was intuitive because it had this inventory right there. And now I know that it, it works against these things. So I have to click on that and that to disarm it. So, there and there. So, there's two of them. Okay. Well, let's save it first. Before I do this. Okay, and it did not use my lockpick, which is good. Let's make sure it's in the same position. No, it changed. So, every time you look at this, it changes. So first and fourth. Wow. Okay. Hey there, Steve. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Those are nose picking tools, Michael says. Yeah. <laughs> These are chest lock picks. Don't be silly. <laughs> You like the chest trap system? Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Nice. All right, we got gold. We want some kind of cool looking sword. This looks cool. Can we identify it? Zero percent chance. Well, I'm still equipping it. Strike went down, speed went down, parry went down. Hmm. Maybe this bigger sword's better. I don't know. That looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? It's uh it's wavy like a flambird. Hmm. Well, since the speed and parry goes down with it, let's have this equipped.
It actually looks like it, it's the size of the item that makes a difference on that. This must be a dagger, and this must be a short sword. Yeah, and with the axe, everything went down because I don't specialize with that because it's a medium weapon. I'm going to try this dagger. Gosh, do I want to do that, though? Hmm. The staff is just as good with those as these swords. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go back to this for now, I guess. All right. Well, we successfully opened that one. Sixty percent chance fire bomb. Yes, partial damage. That's why it's showing the red on the armor. And that's that's cool. That's very intuitive. All right. Uh, no, I didn't miss your message, Steve. I didn't know what you meant. Lineage copy game. I don't know what that means. Okay. We got this. This. So this is that one. This. Where is that? That's that one. Okay. All right, here we go. Yes. Yeah, it actually requires some skill to do that. Got some gold and freezing touch. That was a scroll. Ah, okay. So potions and scrolls are invocable and they have one char you know they have charges whereas the books let you actually learn the spells the fireballs replenish now cool so the fireballs actually or the books actually allow you to cast a spell and it looks like they recharge on their own whereas scrolls just have a one you know a certain number of charges and they're used up so that's pretty cool all right save we haven't had any more crashes so maybe crashes are related to being outside Yeah, overall, I agree, Gauntlet. It is a cool system. Let's see. All right, I have not been here yet. Oh, he's got shot with an arrow. Here are the goblins. They're over here somewhere. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Oh, it's above me, maybe? Yeah, they're above me. Ouch. I wonder if I could hit them with like a fireball spell if I look up. Oh, there he is. Back up, back up. 
All right, here we go. Killed one of them. I don't think he can hit me from here. Okay. I'm gonna let let my uh Matt, my hit points recharge here. Steve says, Lineage, it's a MMORPG game released in 98. And your inventory in your game looks like this game and graphics as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is Dungeon Lords from 2005. And actually, it is multiplayer, evidently. It's not an MMORPG, though. You had to level up to prevent crashes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was cool, wasn't it, John? He's shooting arrows at me, and they're sticking in me. Okay. I think there's another one up there still. I don't know, unless there was just the one. We'll, we'll find out. Let's see. Do we have a charge on this again? Zero, zero, okay, not yet. All right, we'll walk around. Lock the camera again. Right. Yeah, there's still another one up here somewhere. I gotta wait till my magic's recharged. Still not nothing. So I've gone all the way around this. I wonder if there's a ladder or something. No, I don't have a bow, I don't think. Let me look. No. I have yet to find a bow. Letters. Oh, wait a minute. It says, I'm sending this letter in hopes it'll find you. Oh, this is the letter they gave me. Okay. Uh, you can set skills in F1 through F12, and you can just press the key and we'll activate. You mean in this game, Steve? I have no idea. I have not read the manual because I want to play this blindly. Yeah, I want to save my points here, too. Still only level 2. This is that's crazy. Oh. So I am getting experience. Okay. I guess once this reaches a certain point, this will bump up, even though I'm using it for these. Yeah, okay. So 396 will give me to the next level here. Let's see if I can go north. Yeah, I don't have the Steam version, Steve. This is the original. 
on uh, CDs given by some of my generous uh, hey, well, Christopher's been a patron for a long time, patron supporter, but some of my other subscribers and patrons help put together these ideas and stuff. I wonder if I'll get crushed trying to go through this. I saved it. I'm going to try it. No, okay, it just won't let you go through. Let me see if I can just get by these. There might be a way to get up on top. Over here. Yeah, here we go. Here's a ladder. Uh-oh. Dead end. I think he dropped, but he can still shoot at me because he's down there. Yeah, he's shooting up now. I guess I'll have to go down there. Okay, did we get a bow? No, we got a weapon. Now look at all these weapons I have. Okay, well at least we killed the guy. Uh, Steve says, I asked this because Lineage was like this. You would have shortcut. No, I'm sure this was this was made by someone else. This was Heuristic. This is the name of the company. And uh, D.W. Bradley designed this. Totally different. It may look similar, but I'm sure it doesn't act the same way. Okay. Wow, there's another one up there. Oh, I can see the ladder now. Shows up on the mini-map. Alright, where is this dude? Oh, he's over here. I think. Where is he on the ground? He's on the ground? There he is. A bow! We just got a bow. Nice. Alright. Let me see if I can identify it. 50% chance. Failed. <laughs> I can never identify anything. Okay. Let's see, how do we switch? Wasn't that like Q? There we go. Oh, nice. I don't know if we have so many arrows. Does that work? Maybe it's unlimited arrows. Wow, and I just realized I can use the mouse wheel to zoom out or zoom in. Move the camera back. Wow, that's a big help. Look at this. I 
This looks pretty good. Nice. Nigel says in the Steam version you can use 1, 2, 3, and F1, F2, F3 as quick slots. Ah, okay. I don't know, Gauntlet. It doesn't show the number of arrows. And Michael says Lineage was made by NC Soft for reference. Okay. Yeah, I knocked two down and killed one. Yeah, he had fallen down there and he was still alive shooting at me. <laughs> for arrows in the bum. Yeah, that's got to hurt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's unlimited or not. We'll find out. Can't go through there. Maybe I... I bet I have to climb back up on that ladder. Yeah, I do. Okay, I see what's going on here. Then we'll jump off on that other side. Okay, yeah, we'll jump off over here. Nice. Ooh, this water's deeper. I'm gonna be careful here. I can still attack. You know I'm gonna end up fighting some creature underwater, like some fish thing or snake or something. Well, it says NC Soft made a Eon, which was interesting for a while, but suffered from huge issues like lag and imbalance, gold farmers, etc. Worst was enemy camping. Oh, for PvP rewards? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, looks like we need to go up there. Can't climb up there yet. So we can get up on this side. Nice. My fireball had been recharged. Time to do magic missile. Nice. Lots of items. Very generous with the healing potions. Let's see how many I have. Twelve. We still have the potion of power and bloodless too. Alright. Ooh, we got a helmet. Can't identify it. Armor plus two, strength ten, penalty minus one. It's damaged. Light, light. That decreased our speed by a lot. And our parry. Armor actually went down, too. So yeah, that's not a very good helm. But if the other one gets busted, I guess. Donald says, when they outrank you and you cannot level up, 
to get your rewards from low level players if you don't have escort possible yeah that's annoying with pvp we need a whirlwind attack yeah that would have been nice all right let's see how are we doing oh we've leveled up level three wow we have tons of points now man so this determines the power of our like celestial magic i've been using arcane magic power area of effect and duration thing is we're a fighter so i'm sure that impacts our effectiveness with this Okay. Repair. We have no repair right now. So I think I'm going to get this. So medium weapons, you need at least light weapons three. There we go. So now we got one in medium. And I eventually want to get medium shield. So let's boost this to two. Ivana says, I wonder if encumbrance is observed in this game. I was wondering that too. I'm not seeing anything showing an encumbrance yet. So I don't think so. Oh, they're shooting from over there. Uh, where's my bow? Oh, I hit Q. That's right. I even hit him. Wow, that was a hard hit. This is not working. Alright, let's switch back. Do we have any charges in this yet? Zero, one. Okay, we do have a charge in this. Wow, I really missed with that. Let's see if I can get over there. The other side somehow. You can suggest vote for a game to show up on GOG. You need a thief to probably zoom in for the bow. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I think uh, this will be a good place to stop. That was fun. I will definitely be coming back to this game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I sure did. And uh, Christopher, if you're still on here or you watched any of this, thanks again. Really appreciate you getting this and everybody else that helped participate and coming up with this. I really, really appreciate it. So, I will see you guys next time.